Right, next up is, it's a product that sort of goes hand in hand with commercials these days and the um, necessity to use fishery pellets. I mean, obviously the way the world is now, we have to use fishery pellets at most of the fisheries you go to. And what that tends to lead to itself is that you're, well, you're forced, but not in a nasty way. You have to use that bait of whatever type it is. And in turn, yourself and all the other anglers on the bank are using the same bait, which for me, it becomes very, very difficult then to gain an edge and to stand out from the crowd because you're all chucking the same bait in. And there's just little for, for your bait to become different. The fish can be a little bit sick of seeing the same thing all the time. So when it comes to pellets, you have to be very careful in what you add to them. I mean, obviously you're all dependent on the type of uh, pellet that the fishery sells in the first place, so that'll control quite a bit. But what you add to your pellets can be very, very detrimental, if you like, to how the pellets behave and what happens to them. So if you add the wrong sort of thing, if you add lots of different water-soluble uh, flavours, additives, whatever, what in turn they can do is cause the pellet to break down. So in that case, what you want is an oil. So very, very popular of the years, very much in carp fishing. Adding oils to your pellets can both improve the way your pellet works. In that case, I tend to use just a standard fish oil. If I want to uh, create a slower breakdown on my pellets just for that reason, without adding flavour, then I want to add a fish oil because all it'll do is make the pellet break down slower, uh, probably sink a little bit quicker as well. That on the flip side, if I want to change my pellets, keep them the same consistency because they're not a slow breakdown pellet, they might be a Coppins type pellet that you're buying from the fishery, then the only way I can change them is change the flavour of the pellets, change the taste of them themselves. Because there's, they're already a brilliant pellet for not breaking down quickly, being a Coppins type. So then to make myself stand out from the crowd, what I want to do is add a small amount, so never, never in big amounts, adding oil to especially Coppins pellets, but of a flavoured uh, flavor pellet oil, and what that's going to do is literally stand out from the crowd and make my pellets a little bit different to everyone else's. Well worth it, be the whole batch of your pellets for what you're using, or maybe even just your hook bait alone, just to make them stand out. But definitely the use of lotions and potions, it's something that as match anglers we definitely, definitely need to pay a bit more attention to because them carp lads in particular are far ahead of what we do, just in understanding the different potions that they like. So a bit of a complicated one, but all about making your pellets stand out or making them better when you buy their fishery pellets at lots of venues up and down the country.